Hey there! It's been a little bit since I hopped into RoboQuest, so I thought I'd open up with a nice commando run to get us going. Hopefully we can find a good one right off the bat, though. I had unfortunately lost a run just before this where I was running Mine Gun with Baby Boom and I was chunky. I was happy to start this run with another, but it was only white rarity, so it wasn't going to make it very far. Ah, uh, thought I saw a dig spot. Must be wrong. There's a dig spot. Nice, I'll take butter, sure. Increase cryo damage by 20? Yes, let's do that. Let's try to get cryo on this thing. Uh, baby boom and scanning burst already? These are both great. Uh, honestly, I think I should take scanning burst, though. It's just... You can't, you can't pass up the mark and shot, you know? You just can't. Now, I wanted to focus on an explosive build here, because those are always fun, right? But while taking Baby Boom would have been huge for our explosive build, it was a little too early in the run for me to pass up the universally strong Scanning Burst that gives us a 50% increase to damage on marked targets. Ooh, Volcano Rifle's really nice. Volcano Rifle is really nice here. Um, what else do we have? Okay. I'm gonna go and take Lollipop. Then, I think I'm gonna take Volcano Rifle right now. And then hopefully we can get uh, a Mine Gun back. Cause I really do like the Mine Gun. It's pretty nice. But I mean, this is just better right now. Not only is the Volcano Rifle really strong on its own, especially in early game, but this one has the Shard Affix, which gives it a chance to deal Cryo damage, which already synergizes really well with our Ice Cube item. Elemental damage. Let's do elemental. Let's do elemental. Uh, because if we end up doing cryo, it'll still benefit from that later on. And we already have ice cube, so. Mine gun was too strong, so the game intervened. That's why you died last round. That's gotta be it, right? Now that we've sacrificed the mine gun, surely we'll just be cruising through the rest of this. Um. You know what, let's take Rubber Duck, and let's take Ugly Thigh, yes, of course. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade it, because I don't know if I'm keeping it. It is nice that we got Shard on it, though. This was a great weapon, and I really wanted to upgrade it, but as much as I love the Volcano Gun, and as much as it does qualify as an explosive weapon, I wanted an explosive weapon, you know what I mean? So I was keeping my eyes out for something along the lines of an Elephant Gun, Mine Gun, Buffalo Cannon, etc. going forward. Also, I should have mentioned this a little earlier, but if you notice that my voice sounds a little bit different, then it's because I have a cold. I've had one for the past week and a half. Not really a big deal, but if you are noticing a difference in my voice, that is why. Rifle. 
looks like dual rascals. Yep. What a goofy name. Keep trying to right click to detonate my volcano gun. No, it would be cool. Not a good mind gun though. Although I, I wouldn't mind finishing the weapon the run with this at all. Um, hot potato is always nice. We could just take it. We could just take it. Um, sure. Yeah, let's go. And we could do damage. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. damage or pogo stick we could try thumper honestly do i want to give thumper a try ah we'll take it even though we have toaster right here and magic wand ah whatever you know what it has free will we'll give it a try we'll give it a try we're just gonna go through the explosive lineup well i'm already regretting this Oh yeah, I'm already really regretting this. Unlucky. Well, that's why we don't like trying new things. <laughs> no, I've used Thumper before, and I also disliked it. But circumstances are aligning right now because I'm doing an explosive commando, and it turns out I still dislike it. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we can turn it around. Maybe if this thing, I imagine it can roll hit scan. I imagine it can roll hit scan. Maybe, maybe with hit scan, I would like it. Maybe if the defining features of this weapon weren't present, I would like it more. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. This feels just awful. It just feels bad. I mean, when it hits, it chunks, but... Oh, man. Trading out my Volcano Rifle for this thing was rough. I already didn't like it that much from the previous times I've used it, but I took it anyways for the sake of variety. And guess what? Variety sucks sometimes. But oh well, maybe we could salvage this thing and find out if it has any latent power that we can tap into with some items and perks. Maybe I'd end up eating my words. We'll see. Shock damage. Uh, I'll take the power cells. Okay. We 
back in here. Bow, razor launcher, unfortunately, not really for this build. Oh, now we get Dr. Turret after we get rid of our mine gun. I cannot believe how quickly that mine gun shredded this guy, though. That was kind of awesome. Yeah, in the previous run, we had Diggy Mole, and we took the mine gun in against him, and Diggy Mole's already a bit rough for that build because we are going to hit crits, so we want maximum damage up time, but it shredded. Yeah, I think doing it nearly as much damage as the mine gun did. I, I I'm actually really wanting a mine gun again. <laughs> That thing was really fun. Um, yeah, we'll do crit damage. Hopefully we can find Poppy soon. Sulfator shotgun, Cosmo gun, Kunai. Kunai. Yeah, we could run Potato. Potato does do explosive damage. Huh. Maybe. And it has Seeker? You know what? I'm gonna do Potato. Yeah, we'll do Potato. Increase your damage to turrets. Do I want Seeker, or what else can I have? We can have Cryo. We do like Cryo. We can have Fragment. Okay, that's a really not noticeable Fragment. I saw it, I noticed it. it has a fast enough it has a fast enough travel time I might just want to get cryo I think I want cryo yeah I want cryo excuse me thank you alright let's get in there Scan? No, I definitely don't want to hit scan on this thing. I mean, hit scan doesn't increase my damage. Try it well. Tater was feeling good, but not good enough for me. This could have been entirely due to our complete lack of explosive items so far. If I wouldn't have skipped Magic Wand earlier, I could have increased our blast radius by 10%, which would have been noticeable. But we instead took Toaster to further benefit our cryo capabilities. If I was this dead set on running explosive weapons, I probably should have prioritized the item that complemented that goal. Elephant gun? Elephant gun, fellas? Ooh, I kind of, yeah, I think, I think we take, I think we take elephant gun. Uh, I'm taking elephant gun. I love this thing. I love this thing so much. Sorry, potato. I'll see you later. Now, at the time, this was a no-brainer, but in hindsight, this was a risky play. I love the elephant gun. It's probably my favorite explosive weapon in the entire game, but it really leans into being an explosive weapon. And in our current scenario, we had nothing to complement this thing's explosive nature and would have been better oh, off with the cryo right potato. Hopefully, right. we can get some explosive items and fast. 
No! We were so close to getting him. That is tragic. Also like that. It's nice. Um. Oh yeah, cry yo yo all day. And I I should take the power cell. I I will take the power cell. All right. Let's see here. Fury points by three. Sure. Er. I'm gonna do family pack actually. All right, let's get Cryo on it and crit chance. We, we'll take it. We'll take it, man. Now, I still do love the elephant gun, as I said previously, but for anyone who thinks that this gun looks really strong right now, this might be the weakest I've ever seen this gun when running it with Commando. Slap fragments on this thing with baby boom and some explosive items, and you can't even see the screen really. Just damage numbers and the sounds of circuitry trying their best to find God before they are severed from this mortal coil. Alright, so shorty prototype, no. Let's do I don't like any of these. Um Yikes. I don't know about this. We're gonna do mini missiles. We do have top quality, I like top quality honestly. Um Barbecue chromatic powder and do cryo. I'm kind of feeling that honestly Yeah, you know what I'm feeling that. now chromatic powder isn't a bad pick But seeing as I was using elephant gun which only has four shots in the mag and a really high reload speed at fire rate I probably should have taken top quality for the extra damage We could have also upgraded top quality to make it so that 50% of our magazine would be benefiting I'm, from I'm this bonus instead that. of 33% I'm sure Chromatic Powder is still a fine choice for this run, however, since we're already so invested in the Cryo Why because cryo of our items. Why is Cryo for damage without the 100% crit? Very Cryo Mastery. Um, because, yeah, there's just a lot of items in the game that you benefit from. More so than, like, any other element. One chance. Oh, you know what? We can take Popcorn. We can take... Ooh. Or kazoo. I do like kazoo. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's take kazoo.
And we got Poppy. Yeah, we take Poppy, baby. Cube and toaster. Oh wait, hold on. We got, we got, we got uh, everything coming out here. This is great. This is awesome. Everything's coming together already. Now I just need baby boom. Oh god, I need baby boom. What if it doesn't roll for me? I only have one reroll. Oh no. Baby boom is actually insane with elephant gun though. I'm glad I took cr uh, Chromatic Powder. I feel like this was definitely good. Chromatic Powder seems to be the play. Thimble. We, we do like Thimble here. Let's see what my options are inside here, though. Um, we do like Crab Key Ring. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're definitely taking Crab Key Ring. And Thimble. Alrighty. Let's roll with it. Let's go. So, to talk more about why I like Cryo more than any other element, um, the, the items are so good. So, like, fire isn't really that good, in my opinion. Oh, hold on. That's extremely strong. Let's take that. Yeah, Chromatic Powder was really strong. Like, take Toaster, for example. We do 20% increased damage, or not, 20% increased non-fire damage to burning enemies. So, fire damage does not benefit from that. But we can apply burns, and, like, we can apply fire damage to enemies in a, in a multitude of ways. And then our cryo weapons will benefit from that damage boost. If we get cake, we can actually even apply burns by freezing the enemies. So... I think it's gonna follow real... Real Harnold. What are you about? Um, then it'll benefit from the burn damage. Or it'll benefit from cryo, but not the burn half. Like, yeah, you want to try to get as many elements on your gun as possible, and I always prefer for it to be fire and cryo. I don't really care too much about shock. Um, I mean, hold on, I'm about to die here. I'm playing a dangerous game. I need my one brain cell to be focused up here. God damn, dude, energy labs. I'm telling you, this is the hardest one in the game. Well, an organic run, unless you go fusion core. I think fusion core is the hardest, but we don't go fusion core too much because there's no reason to. But yeah, energy labs, man. Woo! They cook. I mean, actually, it's kind of tied between shock and fire for me. I don't mind shock. You do get some nice bonuses, though, from items that can just increase. There's a lot of, like, items that just give you a flat increase to shock damage. They don't really synergize with too much, but it's just, hey, more shock damage. So that's nice. I guess there is that one item that gives you more damage to stunned enemies. Um, I forget what, it, forget what item it is, though. Alright, let's get in there. Been watching YouTube stuff, finally catching a live stream. Hey! Glad you like the YouTube stuff, man. Thanks for checking out the stream. Appreciate it. Oh, 
Hopefully you guys are into more roguelikes than just RoboQuest though, because um, we're gonna be checking out something called Dead Link in the future. It might even be like after this stream, we'll see. Or not after this stream, after this run is what I meant to say. We'll see though. I've kind of been interested in something called Dead Link for a little bit though, and that's another FPS roguelike. From what I hear, from what I hear. I haven't played it yet. I downloaded it. Ooh. Yeah, we like, we like Fire Rain. Dead Link is solid? Ah, well, we might be we might be making some content for Dead Link here pretty soon, too, then. Alright, let's see here. Power Cell. Ooh. I think... Honestly... They need a stat sheet. This game needs a stat sheet. I need to know what my passive... So, like, what they need to do is they need to show your passive bonuses that are just always, always up in, like, gray lettering or white lettering. And then they need to have a parentheses that's, like, yellow or something, show, or red, showing, like, your auto crit chance. So, like, just for an example, I'm going to use auto crit. But, like, when you activate certain items and you get more auto crit or elemental damage or whatever, it needs to be in parentheses to show you what the maximum bonus will be when everything's activated. I wish that they would do that, so I wanted to do this janky, janky stuff. Like, I'm not I'm not doing the math. I don't know if this would make it more work or not. Now, if I take Balloon here, I should definitely take Carnival Mask as well. I'm gonna do that. I'll take both this and Carnival Mask. There we go. That way we'll do more burn damage. With our kazoo and our shorty. Our shorty does both. We made it to Haven. Once we get done clearing out a few chumps, it's time to start our shopping spree. And I swear to god, if they don't have any explosive items, ideally those of the damage variety, then I'm going to perish. But even then, we are looking for two corrupted items in particular, which can only be found in purple caves or sold by the tinkerer in checkpoints, so my hope was dwindling. Hopefully, we can at least grab a magic wand again, as we wouldn't actually be able to get those damage items in these shops. Well, unless the Tinker responds, then we could get the purple items, but, you know, I don't want to hedge all my bets on that. I should probably get the hot potato upgrade next time I get a chance to. I got two or like regular reloads off. To be to, to be fair though, I, I did pop my booster, so that might be why. But I, I did get two regular reloads off before I got my hot potato proc, and that's no way now. We want hot potato to proc. Yep, that's what I'm scared of. Okay. Oh, thank God, there's baby boom bait. Oh. That could have been bad if we didn't get baby boom. We love baby boom so much. We snagged Baby Boom, and you are about to see the Elephant Gun turn into something completely different. This thing is monstrous when it has Baby Boom, because it can proc on all the projectiles if you get it to proc, and it just lights the entire room up. Makes all the difference, man. Makes all the difference. 
what you have for me. Gorilla Bolter, melee and shorty damage. Nice, thank you Chef Bob, appreciate it. Ooh, ice cream, we could do ice cream. Eh, we don't really benefit from them being. Ooh. Pumpkin mushroom could be nice. We'll take, we'll take ice cream. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not gonna change things dramatically, but we'll take it. We don't have cake yet. We don't really have like any explosive items either. Like, yeah, we're digging really well into like the cryo side of things, but we don't have any ex explosive items yet. Like we don't have perfume bottle or banana. But look at that cook. Look at this thing. Cook, I love it. Um, I don't care about the rerolls. That's fine. God damn. You know, I, I, that's tough for me. I'm gonna take the power cell. Ideally, we aren't gonna be getting hit. I know that we are gonna be getting hit, but ideally, we don't get hit, you know? So let's not build around getting hit. That'll be my justification for skipping out on weapons right there. Now, this build is doing fine, but ideally, these enemies would be gone in a second or two if we just had our explosive items. We skipped Atomic Mushroom a little earlier because all it affects is our blast radius, not our damage. And this late in the game, I want to focus on damage above all else to prep for our boss fights. Um, we can do group discount. Have enough for Atomic Mushroom. So I will... No, you know what? I don't really care about Atomic Mushroom. It doesn't increase my damage, so let's skip out on it. Oh, we do have a group of ads here that I almost missed. I feel like this is always where I end up missing ads. I feel like I always end up missing stuff in, in Haven because of that. Like, there's that midsection, and it says we already have our S rank, and the S rank is basically maxed out. So it's like, I, I just think there's nothing left. Maybe we hit 15 this run, because we managed to snag them before we left. Oh, a kaboom grenade. <laughs> uh, yeah, that brings back memories. Ooh, both of these are phenomenal. I'm going to take Bowtie, because that just equates to a lot more damage, but both of those are very good. A bunch of banger options and there's the mine gun honestly I kind of want to take it but elephant guns just too good to pass up so that is a really good mine gun though kind of want it oh man this is tough for me this is a tough one for me now let's keep elephant gun let's keep elephant gun for now damn that's tough it is tough to pass that up I really wanted to try mine gun out But I mean, just look at this, look at this, chaos. Now, if that mine gun would have had cryo on it, I might have taken it, but I, didn't, I, I don't have enough energy cells to keep re-rolling that thing, hoping I get cryo. And since we're more, our item game right now is more focused on cryo than it is explosion, so I'm not gonna give up my cryo option.
Wow, we almost just got cooked there. That was a bit scary. Auto crit chance? Yes, please. No magnifying glass. Magnifying glass and explosive build, not good. You get, you're just gonna get close enough to the enemy and then when you're close enough to the enemy to benefit from magnifying glass, you're probably just gonna blow yourself away from the explosive weapon. Still upset about how my audio turned out during this, but finding magnifying glass there was brutal. We only had one more purple cave to go to in hopes of getting at least one corrupted explosive item for our damage increase. It was looking pretty bleak build-wise. Fucking Mega Boom. We might be back for that. We might be back for that. Depending on how many power cells we have, we may or may not be back for that. Again, I don't want to risk losing out on the We do have 12 power cells right now, and I think it's two per reroll, so maybe one per reroll. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just take the power cells. Unfortunately, it looks like we are not walking away with, like, any explosive items. This is a real shame, because they're purple items, and we're not going to run into any more purple games, so... Uh, we're also going to be missing out on booster if we take this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, I'm going to roll cryo onto it and see how this goes. It's a very, it's a risky play. It's risky, but I'm going to do it. We could have easily beaten this run with, like, my other elephant gun. So this is, like, sticking with that is just a safer play. But we'll see. We'll see if we can roll cryo. We have plenty of cells. We have plenty of cells. Fragment with freeze and surprise. Yeah, I like this. This is a good roll. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good roll. Now, this was a bit of a slow burn, especially this late in the game. The lack of explosive damage items we have, we were really feeling it right here. Oh my goodness. Am I struggling against Uncle Jim right now? They buffed this guy? Or did, I, or did I just nerf myself? Oh my goodness. He almost had me. Alright, this is not shredding as much as I... Maybe the mine gun would have been the better play. Who knows? <laughs> oh, explosion damage. Yes, please. Skipping on the hot potato upgrade. I should take that, but I can't turn down raw damage increases. Come on now. All right, let's run it.
Um, shorty damage. Uh, vaporize. You know, we'll do vaporize actually, just because it can help us out. I've never confirmed if that works against bosses or not, but if it does, it would be kind of silly to turn that down. Because we're not exactly chunking with this. I'm sure we're going to do a lot of damage, but uh, I don't think we're looking at like a five second kill on Iris here, boys. <laughs> so being able to just finish her off after 92% would be great. Going into this iris fight a little low, it seems. We did get kind of chunked there. That was unfortunate. I don't know. We'll see. We'll be able to get a heal. Um, yikes. Still, still going in a little weak though. Let's see if we can work around that. No scratch damage, and we get cake and cucumber here at the end. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. And we didn't hit 15. Unlucky. This build was the definition of suboptimal, but bleak builds can still prevail. Now I would just need to beat Iris to prove it. All right, cook him. Yeah, definitely not shredding out here. I'm trying to keep our distance a little bit more than usual because, uh, you know, we have. What is it, Monocle? Alright, there we go. Phase two. I think we're gonna be hit full HP here. I don't think we're gonna get all the way back up to full. We'll see now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely not melting. We really were hurting from not having any explosive items there. That one kind of hurt us. Uh, yeah, we didn't have like any explosive damage items really. Just, you know, luck of the draw. Unlucky. Yeah. Shame about that. Because we could have we could have been doing drastically more damage <laughs> if we did have some. We were probably honestly better off taking the dual stingers at the end there. It wouldn't benefit from Baby Boom, but honestly, we would have. We had purple dual stingers at the end, and yo yo, we could have just rolled some cryo onto it, skipped out on the other two items, and then we could have just been shredding them, because we had we had great cryo item picks. Like, our cryo damage was through the roof, and we could have benefited from yo yo so much more if we took those dual stingers, simply because we didn't have explosive items, but I just wanted to finish it out strong, because we went into it with explosives, anyways. So. Hey, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, comment, and maybe even hitting subscribe, as it helps out the channel immensely, and I appreciate it greatly. If you ever want to hang out live, check out my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. another FPS roguelike. Um... Don't expect me to be playing a lot of RoboQuest here in the future, not because I don't like the game, just because 
this week in particular we've had so much stuff come out for games we on monday we got alan week 2 uh new game plus which has like story changes and more multimedia fun function in it which is a huge thing on tuesday we had god of war ragnarok dlc drop uh wednesday yesterday we had warframe's whisper in the walls update drop which i'm gonna be playing a lot more of i loved that uh corvex i got him cooking up right now and we had ready or not 1.0 release come out yesterday today we may or may not have tarkov arena coming out it's un it's inconclusive still oh yeah tuesday we also had the payday 3 dlc come out which i made some videos on but i mean that game kind of fell off i still like it though it's a fun game um yeah kind of a stacked week and i've also i've also been playing the once alive beta phenomenal game by the way and now we might check out dead link <laughs> so we've got a lot on our plates i don't i don't dislike RoboQuest. there's just i like playing other games so be prepared for me to be playing other games here in the near future and then we'll maybe come back to RoboQuest in a few weeks to